Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can save nodes or save your Fusion compositions and then import them for later use. So right now I have this Fusion composition, as you can see. So this is a simple Fusion composition, simple motion graphics that I have. So what you can do is go ahead and select all of your nodes in this composition and simply go ahead and right click. There will be a settings option and here you can see that we have an option of save as. So if you click on this, this will give you an option to save your Fusion composition. So go ahead and save this on your system. And once you have saved that, you will find that there will be a file with a dot settings extension. So go, let's go ahead and save this as our font one and now what you can do is go ahead and create a new fusion composition so for example you want to use that this composition again so go ahead and create a new composition and now go over to the folder where you saved your composition so i saved it over here and here you can see we have a dot settings extension so the file is component dot settings this will be the extension of the file so if you simply just go ahead and drag this on your node section, you will see that we have our nodes. And one thing that you need to do is in order to use this is to simply go ahead and connect this output with this media output. You can see we have our nodes back once again. And you can simply just go ahead and delete this one. And here you can see we have our graphics. So if you play this now, you will see that we get the same composition that we saved. And you can also go ahead and make changes to them and then go ahead and save them. Then once again, import them. And this is a useful way for you to use nodes so that you can use them again and again for different projects. So this is how you can save your nodes and then import them. Or you can save your compositions and then import them for different projects. So I hope you liked the video. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.